So how do you find the percent of change between two numbers? Uh, basically, if we use this formula, we find the difference of the two numbers and then divide it by the original number, then that'll get us the answer every single time. So first off, um, find the difference between these two numbers, 45 and 26. So 45 minus 26 is the difference of the two numbers, and we're going to divide it by the original number. The original number is, in this case, 45. 45 minus 26 is 19. 19 divided by 45 will get you a decimal of 0 0.42 repeating. So basically, to make this into a percent, it would be 42.2%. Now, was this an increase or a decrease is the final answer that you're asking. Well, it went from 45 to 26, so it's a 42.2% uh, decrease. So let's try that with a couple more. So here we've got another one from 51 to 86 with the percent increase. So let's go through and do this. Remember, though, we're going to find the difference of it. To make it go easier, always put the first number that's uh, the largest. So 86 is the largest, and we'll subtract the smaller 151. What was the original number? The original number was 51, so we'll put that on bottom to divide it. 86 minus 51 will be 35. So now we just have to figure out what 35 divided by 51 is. And you'll see that it's uh, quite a bit of a decimal there. So we'll just put this down as 0 0.6862, and, and it goes on. How do we convert it to a percentage? Just move 2 to the right, so it becomes 68 point. This 2 tells us to keep the 6 the same, so it becomes 68.6 percent. Because it went from 51 to 86, that's an increase, so it's a 68.6 percent increase. So here's our last one that we're going to try. It goes from 38 to 65. So remember, always um, put the larger number first. So 68, excuse me, 65 minus 38. And the original number, let's see, it started from 38, so that's the original number. And now we just go through and set up the rest of our work. Always make sure you take it out to about the fourth decimal place there, so that way you can round if necessary. Um, this would be 71.1% when we round. Is it an increase or decrease? Well, it went up, so it's an increase.